so we then want to drop down our friction 0.2 I'm going to try 0.2 so just playing around with that's looking much better I'll take it down even more I'll go to 0 see what might be better so that's looking much more realistic again you can see on that the cubes are skidding off quite a lot so we want to highlight our plane and increase the friction back to up to 3 so you can see they stop fairly quickly take it down a little bit 2.5ish looking much better they can roll, move far a bit so that's looking quite decent so I go off that and now we want to assign our textures so hit M I've got three different textures uh, I've got a kind of concretey texture for the sphere and uh, some kind of cementish texture for the bl uh, bricks or blocks and then a tarmac -y texture for the floor so to add the bit add the pictures just go on to any blank uh, material uh, uh, next to the fuse hit the little cube and then go on to double click bit, bitmap then, uh, and then you just find your picture so I'm gonna if you wanna assign the uh, material just click and drag until you the name of the object appears or you can click on the object and click on the assign to material button I'm assigning each of these to the boxes and you can see they change to a grey colour generally when um, the material is assigned to them so you know and then for the floor so I'm just going to render that see what it looks like see if the textures are any good I guess that's ok for now so now we know our textures are ok for now and our animation is good I go up to the top and hit create animation ok I'm just going to create our animation so we can later render it as you can see if you click play you can actually see it working well so if we then render that it's looking much better but um, the floor is still a bit uh, bad to say the least so highlight our material it all depends on what yours looks like I'm just going to tile it yeah, this looks much better. To add even more realism, go onto our create panel lights, standard, and add a skylight in the top view. About halfway between the boxes and the camera, or the perspective view. And then in the panel, on the right, highlight, tick, cast shadows, and then raise for some can be six for now you can add turn it up which makes it even more realistic later when we're happy with what we've got so I'm going to render that so it should take a little more time but it'll look much more realistic as you can see the sphere is looking more better there are actual shadows underneath the boxes and if I go forward a few more frames you see the sphere is looking much more detailed, there are shadows all everywhere. But if we turn up our rays, for example, to say 20, you see it, it takes much longer. However, you'll see in a minute that the shadows under and around underneath the box, it's quite difficult to see because of the tarmac heat texture I've got on there, but they do become much more softer and less grainy as you go on up the rays, for example. But then the rendering takes much longer so that's looking quite good that's, we're pretty much done now uh, you can obviously fiddle around with everything, that's not perfect because it just kind of explodes you can just fiddle around with um, your uh, properties, changing the mass, friction uh, but si simulation geometry and uh, these tick boxes do s need to stay the same or to um, actually work in the uh, simulation but just changing these properties will affect it quite a lot uh, change how it actually acts ok 
Okay, I hope you got a decent result. I kind of nearly did. Uh, thank you for watching uh, for Horizon Luxury Tutorials. I keep watching for more.